What's up? I'm Devin Abner. I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. And this is my scar story. I've been skating for about six years. I learned on this little side street where all my friends had little rails and little ramps. I just have fun. If you get hurt, you get back up, try it again. About a year ago, we were just going to the skate park. We were just going there to skate, have a good time, film a little. Me and my brother were pretty psyched to try the stair set. After I did the ollie, my brother was pushing me, trying to tell me to kickflip the steps. So I tried it like three times. back on the board. My brother tried it once. And he just gave up. And I tried it again. And I was like, I should get it right here. As soon as I caught the kickflip, I knew something was going to happen. And then my heel landed on the board sideways. All the toes just like jammed back and they all broke. Oh. I tried to stand back up and I couldn't stand at all. So I just laid back down and squeezed my foot and just screamed. <laughs> Legend laid down and propped my foot up onto this rail and then I was like, I gotta go to the hospital because it was too bad. I took x-rays of my foot. All my toes were broken and I shattered the arch of my foot. Got surgery like two, three weeks later. They had to put all my toes in these little like Chinese things and like, yank my foot, twist it and stuff. And all the bones went like that and back into place. They had to put this pin all the way to the like end of my foot. And they had to put this pin all the way over to hold the bone in place. These days, I don't go as big because my foot can still break easily. I love skating. I just don't want to get hurt again. Hey, what's up? This is Mike Laird, BMX professional bike rider. And this is my scar story. I was pretty old when I turned pro. I was actually like 24 years old. I just knew I wanted to be the best rider I could be. When you're a skateboarder or a bike rider that rides real street, any street obstacle is fair game. We stopped at a, at a gas station, and there's a road elevating up beside it. And then it went up to probably four foot high. So the first thing I thought of was, I want to flip this thing. First run, it's pretty much jumping it, engaging your speed. I was going too slow, but I was kind of feeling the pop of the lip. I knew I had to I'd take a little bit of faster crank to it. I hit it for a second time, jumped it pretty moderate, not too big. And then I hit it at pretty much full speed. In my head, I know I can flip this. So I was like, well, I'm going to throw my helmet on. I launched probably 15 feet. And then I come around full speed. As soon as I flip, as I'm upside down and I'm no not coming around, decided to abort and jump off. My head was hitting the ground. Just took it straight to my head. As I was hitting, I could just hear my helmet grinding across the asphalt. My helmet. Yep. My hands are numb. Look down and my pinky's doing a 45 off the side of my hand. And I was like, I gotta go to the emergency room. They saw me right away, and I had both hands x-rayed. She's like, I got bad news for you. They're both broken, and you're gonna have to have surgery. The end result was four screws in the right hand, eight screws in the titanium plate, and the pinky of the left. I'm glad I decided to put the helmet on, because I would have definitely broke my jaw, maybe crushed my cheekbone. It definitely could have been way worse. 
for us that take this full time, every injury is more of a what not to do next time. If I come in that situation again where I'm forced to do something, I'm not going to do it. I'm Mike Hathaway from Wareham, Massachusetts. <laughs> this is my scar story. Oh! Who does this happen to? I've been skating for 12 years. Nothing really to do around town. Got a board for my birthday, and then I just started skating from then. Just moved out to California, lived with a bunch of skaters, so I didn't have a car or anything, so I just skated from place to place. The rail was at a church. It was kind of a low rail, down 14 stairs. Kind of hard to bail on. I was trying to do a frontside board slide, just a warm-up trick. I was just dazed, like, not knowing what happened. Oh, I had all too high. My back truck hit the rail. I pretty much just flailed like I could fly away or something. I landed on my back first, and then my head just pounded the ground. It's gushing blood. The filmer took off his shirt and put it on the back of my head. Who does this happen to? Sit up, Mike. Mike, sit up. Yeah, you want to get the blood up. Or... I tried sitting up, and that's when I knew my back hurt. My back. I was worried that I broke my hip for sure. Oh. It was kind of like someone took like a hammer to my hip and just like shattered it. Oh. it Excruciating pain. Oh. Just felt like those pieces of bone just floating around. Nerve endings like going off like crazy. Oh. 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 Next thing I know, they're shoving me into the van and we're driving to the hospital. Once I got in there, they bandaged me up, yeah, making fun of me and stuff, and you know, telling me I'm too old to skateboard. Got a hip x-rays and there's nothing wrong with my hip. I just bruised my back, really. And I couldn't walk for like a week. They gave me seven stitches in the back of my head and that's all they could do for me. I should have been wearing a helmet. That may traumatize me. Hopefully I can continue skateboarding, but I probably won't do a 14 stair front board anytime soon. Chris Shivers from Jonesville, Louisiana. And this is my scar story. I actually been riding bulls for probably 15 years. Professionally, I've been riding since 98, I think. It's been a great adventure, you know. We get a lot of ranked bulls, and it's, it's been wild at times. Uh, I broke my leg in Honolulu, Hawaii. It was a bull riding we had there right after the finals. I got on a bull called Chili that had a reputation of hurting a lot of guys. I was a little leery of that. Bull come out, spun both ways, really bucked hard. I was on the bull for eight seconds. That's the required time. I knew I'd make a good ride. I knew I was, I was going to win some money. And uh, I was pretty excited. You know, you're not safe until you're on the fence. I was trying to push off one leg to get away, and the bull kind of circled by me and, and got a foot on my leg. And then all of a sudden, I felt a sharp pain run up my leg, and I knew at that moment that, that he had stepped on it and broke it. And I was just, you know, oh, I didn't know what, what was going on. And I looked behind me, my leg was fishtailing. I could feel it dragging behind me, and I knew it was flopping around. And it's not a good feeling when you look behind you and your legs point in a different direction. You know, the pain hadn't hit me until I turned over and kind of sat there for a few seconds. And it was bad. I then got in the ambulance to the hospital. That's when the pain started settling in, and then I realized exactly what had happened. They determined that it broke my tibia and fibula, and it shattered some little bone in my ankle.
They went in, did surgery. They put a rod in my leg, and they screwed it back together. This scar is uh, where they inserted the rod. There are screws here, here, and the knot is where my leg was broke right here. These little dark-looking spots and screws. They put a couple screws in my ankle to screw it back together. Then I had uh, compartment syndrome, where your leg swells really bad, and they have to relieve some pressure off your leg. So they made a big cut on the outside of my calf muscle, and this whole side of my leg is still completely numb. I don't have any feeling there. I guess I could probably poke a knife in, and it wouldn't bother me any. Coming back from an injury, it's a pretty tough battle. You know, you go through things that really mess with your mind. Something is going to happen in bull riding. You know, you don't know when it's going to happen or how bad it's going to be, but it's always in the back of your mind that, that it could happen. What's up? I'm John Green from Warwick, Rhode Island. And this is my scar story. I've been rollerblading for about nine years now. Me and my friends started biking and rollerblading when we were younger, and it all kind of progressed from there. We started making videos. We all have our own cameras. We always go out and film. I rollerblade. I understand that I'm going to get hurt sometimes, and I accept that. That day, we went out and we were filming. It, it was going good, actually and I wanted to do this rail. It was a kink rail, and it had a drop on the right. I was trying to backside Royale to 180 drop, and I was pretty confident I could land it. I was trying it for a little while. I thought I had it, and then the next time I tried it, I went all the way to the end. As soon as I took up my arm, I seen that it was totally bent sideways from where it broke and the bone was coming out. I just panicked. Call 911. I'm gonna pass out. Oh my god. Johnny, stay calm. Stay calm, Johnny, stay calm. I just got caught up on the turn of the rail and that sent me off the drop. All my momentum was going backwards, so I put my hands down to stop it. I came right down to my arm, and it just snapped. Oh, my God! And that's when, like, the pain started to kick in. Don't look at it, John. Do it open. That's when the blood started coming out of my arm. Oh, my God. What the First thing I thought was, oh man, my mom isn't gonna like this. When I first got the phone call, I thought John broke his arm again for the fourth, fifth time. I lost track at this point. Here he goes, jumping up, grinding down. He's got it, he's got it, and there he goes. And now his arm's bent the wrong way. Oh my God! <sighs> got to the hospital and saw the bones coming out of the skin. I knew there was something seriously wrong and actually left the room immediately. I had a compound fracture. My ulna and radius were both completely separated. They had to give me two shots into my bone. What that did was numb it so they could try to crack it back into place. Oh my God, what the... Oh. They couldn't do it, so they decided I was gonna need surgery. They had to cut two seal plates in on both of my bones, take skin off my leg, and put it on my arm. Just the swelling was really bad. My arm was about three or four times the size of what it should have been. And I needed the skin graft to get it shut. This scar was the incision they made to relieve the pressure in my arm because of all the swelling. This is where the bone actually came out of my arm. And the bone was sticking through right there. This is the skin graft. This is actually a lot bigger. I needed about a little over 100 stitches to get that on. You always look back after and like you're like, man, I could have did this to change that. Oh my god! I mean, I love skating. Go to the hospital now. But yeah, there's a big risk of injuries. 